Hey guys, it's Jay and we are in the kitchen again today for another episode of Foodie Friday. And I'm excited today because we're making breakfast and we're not actually cooking anything. This is another sort of assembly style recipe that doesn't require any heat. I like those. Uh, we're actually making overnight oats today. It's kind of related to a dish that we discovered, well, we really discovered it while cruising, called muesli. Now, of course, it exists outside the cruise world, but we discovered it for the first time on a Royal Caribbean ship and kind of fell in love with it. It's like an oatmeal dish with fruit and nuts and various things in it, some sort of a dairy base, usually served cold. So let's get right into it. Uh, one of the ingredients that you might not have in your pantry that you may have to do a little seeking for is chia seeds. Now, I guess you could just go out and buy a chia pet and just, no, no, don't do that. I'm sure it's the same kind of seeds, but you need the ones that are approved to eat. I don't know if you could really buy a chia pet and just crack into that and eat those. Not advised, but anyway, I ended up finding some online. You can find most anything on the internet machine these days. So let's get to assembling. Now I am making two servings today, so you will see me doubling all of these ingredients. So in a small bowl, we will start with one half cup of old fashioned oats per serving, two thirds cup unsweetened almond milk, and you could use skim milk if you don't like almond, one third cup non-fat Greek yogurt, one half tablespoon of chia seeds, one half teaspoon vanilla extract, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and one to two tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm using light maple syrup here, so I went ahead and did the full on two tablespoons per serving. We will whisk that together with a fork until it's nice and combined. And that is about it for your basic mixture. Now, like I said, we are using old fashioned oats. I guess you could do this with quick oats, but the texture would be a little bit mushier. I kind of like the chew and the texture that a good old fashioned oat gives to this. So now you've got the base mixture done. We need to work on some flavors. Let's start with some apple cinnamon action, shall we? So we will cut one apple into bite-sized pieces. I went with a Granny Smith because I kind of like the tartness in here. And we'll add about a half teaspoon of cinnamon per serving. Again, stir to combine. And we are going to cover that with a lid or some foil and stash it in the fridge. And these are called overnight oats for a reason. You normally want them to be in the fridge at least four to six hours or overnight. Uh, and they sort of absorb all of that moisture and just get deliciousified. Is that a word? It is now. Um, I've heard that you can store these in the fridge for up to like five days. They do get a little, you know, loss of texture to avoid the word mushy. Uh, more loss of texture as time goes on. But you know what? We normally just make a batch and they're gone the next morning. So we wouldn't know. So the next morning we will take these out of the fridge, give them a little fluff to kind of revive them. And they are ready to serve. Now I do like to put a good little crunchy topping on here. The apples are gonna give some crunch to this one, but apple cinnamon nuts go really well with this combination. So something like a walnut, maybe even a pecan. I know, my pronunciation. Or my favorite type of nuts. Grape nuts. I know. Would you really put cereal on cereal? In my world, yes. These are nice and crunchy, and I kind of like to toss these on top of just, you know, yogurt, this overnight oats recipe, just to give a nice little pop of crunch to pretty much anything. All right, let's move on to another flavor now. Hello, deliciousness is calling. So we will assemble the base again with our old fashioned oats, almond milk, Greek yogurt, chia seeds vanilla, salt, and maple syrup. And this time we will chop up one medium banana. I guess it would be half per serving. I'm using a whole banana because this is two servings. And we'll go with about a half a tablespoon of peanut butter powder per serving. Stir until well combined. Toss a lid on and stash in the fridge overnight. And the next morning we will take it out and fluff it again to revive it. Now this one being bananas and peanut butter, it is gonna need a little textural help. You could add some grape nuts, or even better, let's go in a slightly more desertified direction with some mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. We'll just toss about a teaspoon or so of those on top of each serving and you should be ready to roll. So that is it, super simple. I love any time where I can just take a bunch of ingredients, cram them in a bowl, stick them in the fridge, and the next morning, magically, you have magic breakfast. Sounds good. So let's see how we did on the nutrition front, and this is just for the base ingredients, none of the fruits and toppings. 
And how did we do at the register? Very, very nice. So hopefully you did enjoy this episode of Foodie Friday. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, rock on!